Joining me once again is the inventor of one of my favorite products. That's right, Brain Pop. I literally love this stuff. Coconut's my favorite, although they've got lots of delicious flavors. With us now is the inventor, the creator, the founder of it all, Brain Pop Sierra. Hello. Hi, Donna. How are you? <laughs> Good. We met about six months ago when you were just launching this company. Congratulations. I knew that it was going to be incredibly big, and it has been. How are you feeling knowing that you've been helping so many people with your beverage line? It's an incredible feeling. I love waking up every morning to this brand and this product. And some days are like a roller coaster ride, but it's sort of the life of the entrepreneur. You had had a brain injury yourself, and therefore you knew that you wanted to do something that was going to kind of put in some goodness for people to help them, I don't know, have more awareness or more connectivity or to make things fire better. Tell us about the research that went into this product. Well. Uh, as you mentioned, I had a brain injury a number of years ago during my sophomore year of college, and the recovery was uh, very unique. I, nothing could have really prepared me for that journey. But many years later, this opportunity came after working um, on the pandemic response team to have a product that would sort of allow me to have an, an outlet to tell my story. So you were on the pandemic recovery team. Okay, so what did that include? What was that? Everything relating to vaccine dissemination, logistics, so on and so forth. Okay, so here you were and you said, okay, now's the time that I'm going to launch this product. So what are some of the steps? Like what's happening with your brand now? Well, we were, so we launched this summer with Alice and Olivia and one thing sort of led to the next. With the entrepreneurship uh, role and the entrepreneur life, you sort of don't really know how to, um, I would say that the sequence of events is sometimes not really defined, but as you take the first step, it sort of leads to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And it's kind of like a creative, innovative process. Um, there's always a lot of unknown that you're dealing with, unknown and fear, fear of public ridicule, fear of failure, fear of the unknown. So learning how to navigate that is essential, but we were featured at Fashion Week behind um, the fashion sh events, fashion shows, the models and the fashion community really liked Brain Pop because it only has 30 milligram, thirty uh, calories and seven grams of sugar on average. So, so exactly. So if you want to be fit, you know, and you don't want to have a sugary, sugary drink, but you want that same like carbonated, like <gasps> zest to it, Brain Pop's a good alternative for that. Yes, we hope so. And we've seen a number of use cases in the mocktail community and in the cocktail community, it can be a great mixer with gin, whiskey, vodka. What are your flavors? What flavors do you have? We have four flavors, Dragonberry okay. Warrior, Mojito Madness, Mango Colada, and Coconut Delight. Lovely. Now, have you ever tried to blend two of the flavors? We haven't tried that yet. Okay. There might be new flavors coming up in the spring. Okay. Or even in our glass, you know? Like, I could see how maybe they would be... I don't know, we could try. We could do an experiment where we say, oh, a little dash of dragon with a little bit of this and you never know. Um, but they are nice, smooth beverages. They don't give you that like crazy aftertaste that you get sometimes with a carbonated beverage, you know, like that after, it hurts, sometimes it hurts my jaw. I guess maybe it's too much sugar, not your brand, other brands, right? With yours, it's a nice, smooth, refreshing experience. Like I look forward to it. Thank you so much. And that's sort of what we wanted to inspire. We wanted to inspire not only health, but creativity and happiness one sip at a time. The blend is a botanical caffeine blend with green tea extract, green coffee bean guarana, and it's combined with a hydration component of L-creatine and different minerals like magnesium, potassium, and nutrients, amino acids like taurine, theanine, choline, glutamine, and vitamin D. We believe that these ingredients work cooperatively to have a very balanced boost effect. And a number of physicians, healthcare professionals, um, particularly the surgeon community, has really uh, championed and fallen in love with this product. So it's a great honor and I'm very, very blessed. People needed you. And did you, you probably didn't even realize that growing up, that, you know, maybe the head injury that you had or other things were going to lead you into this, you know, strength position that you have now. Yes, and I think adversity can always be an opportunity for growth and learning. We don't sometimes get to pick the hand of cards that we're dealt, but we always are in charge of how we respond and react to them. 
speaking of reactions, uh, in California, there's a mural or something that's going to be painted. Or you must be like, Woo, what? tell us about that experience. Yes. So we're very excited. We're working with Lisa Brewer and the Lilac Mural Project in San Francisco to have a brain pop, drink to think, light bulb mural right by the Carla Santana mural. And we want to inspire the mental health and brain health discussion. And so what's going to be happening is they're doing it, is it March? Like when will they start like actually painting your beautiful mural? There is a series of murals and the final culminating mural, the mural unveiling ceremony will happen on National Doctors' Day to be dedicated to the physicians and healthcare professionals who contributed nationwide to the pandemic response team. Now, your response team for when you originally had your injury, um, are you in touch with any of those people? And are they, they must be like so excited for you that this is what's happened. Unfortunately, I'm, uh, so much time has passed. I'm not in touch with those individuals, but there were classmates um, at Cornell who are now very talented, competent physicians who uh, I'm still in touch with. And tell us about Cornell. Tell us about your love for Cornell. Well, we formulated the products, the four flavors at Cornell Food Ventures, and then we did the canning production run at locally at the Brooklyn Cannery. And uh, today, if I could be like the fairy godmother of your brand, what are your intentions for 2023? You know, what would you like to happen, Sierra? Or what do you see, you know, happening? Well, taking on the world one sip at a time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, and Don, I should say I did dress up to match. I don't know if oh, you can see so my shoes. Oh, so cute. I love them, Mojito Sarah. Mojito You look fabulous. I I'm going to have a little beverage, too. Do you know which person. flavor you put in this glass for me? That's your favorite, Coconut That's Delight. My, that is my favorite. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Um, so cheers to us. Cheers, cheers to you. Um, and, and good fortune and good success to you, Sierra. Um, but is there like a, something on, you know, that you want to kind of manifest this year? Absolutely. Okay. So we're getting very close to Whole Foods and national distribution. We are in some hospitals, the cafes, but the next step would be to take on the vending machine community. And we have a billboard that is going to be unveiled in New York City with supermodel Evelyn Sato in probably in February. And wow. there's going to be an amazing raffle associated to the onlookers, people who go take a picture, post, hashtag, so on and so forth. We really love the community around this uh, product that has formed and, you know, love the feedback and engagement. And in restaurants too, right? You're already in 10 restaurants, I think, in Manhattan? We're in a few different restaurants in New York City and okay. it's expanding every day. Congratulations. Thank you for visiting us again. You were our featured, um, you know, I guess you would say sponsor, really, of my 47th annual cookie exchange. And everybody, you know, they just they just love it. So thank you for coming back. We love you. Um, and here's to you. If you have not tried Brain Pop, please go to their website. Uh, I, I'm fully endorsing this. You know I don't endorse anything unless I believe in it 100%. So here's to you, Sierra. And here's to our loving family at Live It Up. And here's to you at home. Brain Pop. Give it a try. <laughs>